Well, hello there. I am Snuff Anybody, and uh, I'm here to do uh, a Snuff review for all of you. Uh, the product I will be reviewing today will be Rhabarba Menta or Rhubarb Menthol from Paul Gotthard, which is a Polish Snuff. It is the collector's edition in a little 8 gram glass bottle. Beautiful packaging. A little hand cut wooden lid which hides a little plastic lid that keeps the snuff sealed and fresh. But let's have a look at the snuff and uh, see how that works. Okay, I've tapped out a little pile and the snuff looks like this. It is medium brown with a reddish tin that for some reason doesn't show up on my camera at the moment. The grind is... Yeah, it's medium to most producers of snuff. Uh, it peels very, very nicely. So I'm guessing the moisture level is, shall I say, medium to slightly medium high. Beautiful snuff and should be damn easy to take and potent in smell. Well, we've had a look at the snuff. Let's see how it works with the nose. Okay, we've had a look at the snuff. Uh, let's do uh, the all usual little thing on the tin notes. Mm -hmm. It's fruity. There is a very tart, like sour scent to it. And if I didn't know that it was rhubarb, I wouldn't know what the tart, sweet and sour, fruity scent would be. Because rhubarb is not very recognisable on its own. But rhubarb, of course, it's menthol, which is menta in Polish. And not a very powerful menthol, a very mellow menthol in the uh, in the little bottle here. And there is also uh, like fermented tobacco and a musky scent that I'm guessing is ambergris. But snuffs in these little bottles here, and it is a beautiful little bottle. The nice little graphics, phone number, the usual uh, warning and the bottle batch number, because it is a series of only 4,000 bottles. Okay. But let's see how it works in the nose. And with this, of course, you can't pinch from, so I will do the box car in. Dump a good, decent amount of snuff onto my box car. Like, there you go. Good. And I know this is a damn easy snuff to take, but in a boxcar, if you want to split it between uh, two nostrils, be a wee bit careful on the first sniff. So, um, let's have a go. Okay. Instal co instant cooling menthol rush. But it's not a uh, powerful menthol. menthol. It is uh, a menthol that opens up your nose, clears it, gives you a bit of cooling, but there is lots of sour fruitiness um, instantaneously. It's much more fruity in the nose than it is uh, in the bottle, the tin note. And it's bloody brilliant. It's a beautiful snuff. It sits silky, silky smooth. Uh, even though I kind of insufflated that quite hard, nothing goes the wrong way. Uh, the nicotine level is, is there. Uh, it's not overpoweringly. It's, uh, it's not something that gives you a real good rush of nicotine, uh, like some of the real high nicotine snuffs will. There is a slight, slight pulse. Uh, in the side of the nose, uh, 
which just tells me that there is some nicotine. There is no burn on the snuff at all. And I'm guessing that might come from how this snuff is moistured. Because uh, the feel is different from uh, English, German or American snuffs. It's a very... It's a special feeling. And there might be something here. Because the, the throbbing in the nose does uh, increase a little bit. So I'm guessing uh, it's um, a medium uh, nicotine snuff. Maybe in the high end of me medium. So uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm guessing something 5, 5.5. Five and, um, and I do know uh, from previous experiences that um, there is a nice uh, back drip on this snuff. And it's well tasting and you can feel taste the rhubarb even more there uh, but again as I said in the beginning if you don't know that it's rhubarb you're smelling what you really get is just a tangy sweet and sour mentally fruity brilliant snuff uh, so uh, for a rating from me uh, I love this snuff to bits. I bought it um, on sale from uh, snuffstore.co.uk. So I bought it for pound uh, seventy, yes, I remember. But in standard sales, it's four pounds eighty, which is too much, too much for eight grams of the snuff. So it's not worth the four pounds eighty that it's charged when it's not on sale for the slightly less than two pounds I paid for it, it's perfect. So at that pricing, I would have given this uh, four and a half. But at the price, I'm uh, gonna lower the rating to three and a half. It's a brilliant snuff. It's a must try if you love uh, a fruity menthol. Because uh, the menthol is there, it's nice and cooling. It's not chlorine menthol, it doesn't clog you in any way like some strong menthols does. And what you're left with, uh, after the couple of minutes where menthol is strong, you're left with lots of tangy, sweet and sour fruitiness. That's all for me, and uh, I'll be back with more snuff reviews, uh, maybe some snooze reviews. Let's see how it goes. So if you enjoy my work, please do uh, push the subscribe button. Leave a comment or do whatever you want. Bye.